Greetings and salutations everyone. I am as always Darth Devious bringing you another video review and here's basically my second review from Transformers Age of Extinction and it's the Toys R Us exclusive Evolution 2 pack of Strafe, the deluxe Strafe and he comes with the Minicon Strafe. But what's really cool on the package is, see, we see on here it does the normal Transformers thing. Up top, it has the G1 Autobot design. And then over here it has the Age of Extinction logo, which is really cool. But on the side, you get this fantastic picture of G1 Strafe from the Technobots. So that's it's it's showing how he strafed the character went from being one of the Technobots with twin guns in the front to a Dinobot with twin heads, which I guess that makes sense if they're going for you know even though he's a Dinobot, he has twin heads like Strafe had twin guns. Go figure. So that's pretty cool, you know. You see on the back here, you see you know here's the little. Minicon Legends class or whatever this is that he came with and then you see the deluxe movie version of Strafe there which is already in the package so I'm I'm really excited to get this guy out of the package I this is the first time I even saw him I wasn't even looking for him I just happened to go into Toys R Us and there he was so there you go I will get him out of the package and his little counterpart and we'll take a good look at both of them and we'll go from there Alright, be right back. Alrighty, here we have the two strafes out of the package. And in their pterodactyl mode, so he came in pterodactyl mode. He was actually in robot mode. Um, transformation is fairly simple. Um, there, there's not really much. I mean, you can see there's his robot arms. There's his head. Um, the legs do flip. And these are his robot mode feet. So, I mean, you can figure out the transformation just by looking at them. These do have a lot of articulation in them, and they fold around to become his um, his shoulder pauldrons. And then the wings fold up real nicely. And he's got a lot of nice movement in the wings. I mean, if you take his weapon off, he comes with this nice crossbow, which is a uh, um, friction-firing missile, as you see. All right, and that's pretty cool. And he also has these on his wings, which, you know... That evokes G1 swoop with the missiles on there. And they're kind of lances. They're like lances. Like like a lot of these, the robot modes are very knight-like. Very, uh, you know, medieval-ish. It's pretty cool. And you just put his legs behind him there and you can just have him fly around with his two heads. As you see, you can get some nice movement out of the wings. You got a couple different joints. So that's really cool. And it's, it's really nice how all that incorporates into this mode. Um, nice Autobot symbols on the wings. Really cool. Right. The tail's a soft rubber. It just flops back and forth, you know, and it, it does have a joint to raise and lower it. That's more for transformation. It doesn't really lock in anywhere. And he's got his claws here on his feet. And he's got claws here on his wings. Now the heads are what's cool. Because they, they rotate they swing back and forth. They go up and down, so you get a lot of different movement out of them. All right, you see that? And then you can open up their mouths really wide. So as you see, pretty cool. This is a really cool Dinobot. Now, I, I mean, from what I saw in the trailers, I was like, why is there a two-headed Dinobot? That just doesn't make any sense. Why has Swoop got two heads? As strafe, it makes it makes sense because, you know, you go back to G1, like I said, you got, you know, twin guns sticking out of the jet. Well, he's got twin heads as a Dinobot. So, yeah, I could get with that. This is pretty cool. Um, I really like it. All right, we'll take a look at the little guy first, and then I'm going to put big strafe into robot mode. You see, he stands pretty, pretty good in this uh, beast mode here. All right, and the little guy... He's, he's not too bad either. He's got... His mouth opens and closes a little bit. Eep, 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 eep. And he's got some nice details on him. Minicon symbol, minicon ports. You know. He's just a little minicon. That's all. 
I'm just a little minicon flying around doing minicon things. Yeah. Minicons are, you know, eh, some they're hit and miss with me. You know, I just basically, you know, he just unfolds and all this other good stuff. Ah, uh, whatever. You know, it's, legs become arms, arms become legs. It's weird how his wings work here, because, you know, everything's kind of all connected together and just, I don't know. Yeah, I've never transformed him before. Sue me. Sue me. Sue me and I'll sue you. All right. I'm giving up on this guy. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, look. See, now look. He's a little robot. Isn't that precious? It's just so precious. And he doesn't want to stay together. He's so precious. Yeah, this really isn't one of the best minicons out there. But you know what? It's cool that they included it with this set anyway as part of the evolutions thing. Would have been cool to get like a, a G1 strafe with it, but I know they weren't going to do that. It's hard for them to go back and do the G1 toys. So yeah. So there we go. Little strafe. Not in the best robot mode. I probably got it wrong. I don't care. Alright. I'm going to get the big guy into robot mode. Like I said, you guys, you don't need to see the transformation. It's, you know, pretty much stand him up, pull his head out, and put these on his shoulders. Alright? So I'll be right back. All right, now here's Strafe in his robot mode. Like I said, it's pretty much straightforward. You unplug his arms, fold his wings behind him, fold the heads around on their joints so that they come around to his shoulders, pull his head up by his crest. As you see here, what were the knees on the beast mode become the feet in robot mode, and the feet be from beast mode become the knees. That's it. He's not, there's nothing else to him. Um, so yeah, you just it's it's a simple transformation. It's, you know, really no need to show it. Um, articulation wise, he's pretty good. Does have one thing that I do have a pet peeve against, but you know. Anyway, but you know his head goes up and down, swivels back and forth. It's on a little bit of a ball joint. All right, and again, we'll look at his head. And you see, it's another medieval knight helmet like all the rest. All right. And again, the feet have the, you know, medieval knight spikes on them. And, you know, his weapons become nice, like, swords or lances or whatever you want to call them. Um, unfortunately, he has gorilla arm syndrome. So, as you see, unless he's holding his sword out like this, you really can't do much with it. It's going to be straight out. But his wrist, you know, bends down like this. So there's that. Um, you can store them, leave them stored on the wings if you want to. Articulation-wise, shoulders go back and forth, which is cool because they're attached to the wing joints, but they're separate from the wing joints, which is cool. He has a swivel. He has an elbow joint. The elbow joint is hindered by these little spikes that come out. All right, but it's still pretty cool. He does have a waist, and the waist is not part of transformation, so that's you know an actual waist. He, his thighs, if you don't have them positioned the right way, he does kind of have um, knock knee syndrome if you don't position them right. And what you see, what I mean is you got little, up at the ball joints, you got slight swivels there as well as swivels above the knee. You want everything to line up nicely to give him straight legs. Um, otherwise, he's just going to look weird. And he's, you know, as you see, you got swivels and all that up in his legs and he has... Essentially a double knee joint, but that's mainly for transformation. His knee joint's actually right there, and then that's the transformation joint there. Um, nothing in the feet. They're just molded, but still, you still get nice poses out of him. I love the blue on him. I love the silver on him. His heads don't plug into anything, but they're cool. They can get him out of the way. You can put him out like this if you want to, if you don't want him blocking his chest or anything. Which looks good as well. It's your, your choice. In package, they came across his chest, and I thought that was pretty cool. Gave it a really interesting look. Um, like I said, you can do what you want. It's your toy. Do what you want. 
So there you go. Also in packaging, he comes with his dino mode feet actually in position. You have to, if you want to show him in robot mode, you have to transform him the rest of the way. That was just so they can get him in the package. But he's a cool little Dinobot. I really like this. Um, I'm actually surprised by this one. I, Like I said, I wasn't expecting anything good from it because I wasn't a fan of the fact that I thought that was Swoop and he was going to have two heads. But when you call him Strafe, it makes sense. For some weird, weird way, it makes sense. And here he is with little Strafe. Little Strafe can stand on his head and fall off. And he can hold his crossbow, too. And this is a cool crossbow. He can hold that. Or he can plug it in on his wing somewhere. So there you go. So yeah. Age of Extinction Evolution 2-Pack Strafe. Um, there is one thing I noticed on the packaging. Now, I didn't notice it before. Apparently... He is part of the whole Thrilling 30 line. And he's number 26 of the 30 figures we were getting. So, he is technically part of the Generations 30th Anniversary line. He's not, you know, just simply the Age of Extinction figure. So that's pretty cool that they added that in there. Um, I would have liked to see them use that slot maybe for somebody else, but, you know, what the heck. Just to get a new, really cool looking figure is worth it in my book. So there you go. Toys R Us exclusive. So you either get it online at Toys R Us or you go to the store and get it, all right? If you see it, it's out now. Go get him. He's pretty cool. The little guy's pretty cool too, and it's just nice that they threw him in. Probably going to leave him in his pterodactyl mode though. All right? There you go. You all be good. I'm starting to get a bunch of Dinobots now. You'll see a couple reviews of them. This one can come in, and he can take take you out. Swords, crossbow, dino heads. You watch yourself. You especially, Greg. I'm watching you. Later.